This is JJ Murphy, Palmdale City Manager, with your May 14th COVID update. Today, I want to take the time to recognize a group of our COVID-19 frontline responders, our peace officers. As a son of a Philadelphia police officer, I am very proud that Palmdale is gonna honor our peace officers. Under normal circumstances, this week would be filled with special ceremonies recognizing peace officers for their many sacrifices. In fact, Friday, May 15th is officially Peace Officers Memorial Day. However, the safer at home orders have caused most of these ceremonies to be canceled, which is most unfortunate as we would like to honor them now, more than ever, as they are on the front lines during this pandemic. With proper physical distancing and safety protocols in place, the city of Palmdale will hold a brief ceremony this Friday, May 15th at 8.45 a.m. at the flagpole of Poncelon Square here at City Hall. In honor of their memory and ultimate sacrifice, we read the names of the peace officers from the Antelope Valley who died in the line of duty and thank those who are serving us today. Because of the current state and county health orders, we ask everybody to be extra careful. People are encouraged to either attend virtually by watching the ceremony on Facebook at the City of Palmdale slash government or by remaining in their vehicles or at a safe distance away from the flagpole while wearing facial coverings. You are also invited to decorate your vehicle with blue ribbons, peace officer flags, or bring signs to display your thanks. We are also encouraging people to submit names of peace officers they would like to have recognized by emailing the names to the email you see on your screen, communications at cityofpalmdale.org. Now here's Mayor Hofbauer to give you a background of how Peace Officers Memorial Day came to be. Thanks, JJ. On October 1st, 1961, Congress asked President John F. Kennedy to designate May 15th as a day to honor peace officers. President Kennedy declared Peace Officers Memorial Day on October 1st, 1962. Since then, every May 15th is designated as Peace Officers Memorial Day, paying tribute to the local, state, and federal law enforcement officers who have made an ultimate sacrifice or been injured in the line of duty. The day honors fallen law enforcement officers across the nation and offers support to their surviving family members and other officers. The observance takes place during police week. According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, more than 800,000 law enforcement officers serve in the United States today. Each year, the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial adds new names to the wall, on an average of 163 deaths per year. Fallen law enforcement officers represent all levels of law enforcement, local, state, federal, tribal, military law enforcement. They're all our family members, husbands, wives, parents, sons, and daughters. In 1994, Bill Clinton made an amendment through Public Law 103-322 that directed the United States flag be flown at half staff on May 15th in honor of the day. These are in fact uncertain times, but what remains certain is our unwavering support for our law enforcement community. Now, we just received some positive news as the LA County Health Department officer has released an updated Safer at Home order. It will allow for lower risk businesses and select recreational facilities to reopen. All retailers that are not located in an indoor mall or shopping center are able to reopen for curbside, doorside, outside pickup or delivery only. The public is not allowed to go inside. Manufacturing and logistical businesses that are part of that supply chain for the retail, they may also reopen. You can read the full order on the county's website listed here on the screen for you. Over a week ago, the city of Palmdale presented a safe and sensible plan to the county for our community's reopening. We made the case that here in the Antelope Valley, we have a different situation than they do down in the LA Basin. We are far less dense. We don't have as much packed public transit and we have kind of a natural built-in social distancing. So since then, Santa Clarita and Lancaster have also expressed the same concerns. We are in contact with them about forming a, a North County coalition to, to present our ideas for a measured and safe opening. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Please keep washing your hands, cover your face, stay home if you can. And remember, Palmdale cares about you.